I do want to point out some of the other state representatives, and I'm going to say in fairness to them, um, I reached out to everybody's Facebook uh, pages. People don't have, it seems, that they don't have election websites anymore, so you kind of ha have to go to their Facebook page. Unfortunately, Facebook has a habit of creating these weird little inboxes in Messenger and making sure that you don't see all your messages. So some of them have reached back out to me and said, hey, I just got these messages too late. Sorry. Um, there is one particular, I think it's district number 34, state representative 34, that there are three candidates, and I'll put the names on screen. I don't remember them all at, at once. One of them did not contact me. I feel like he didn't contact me because he doesn't want to talk to me because he knows his answers are not going to align with mine. Uh, one of the other uh, people did contact me and uh, asked me some information about my show, and I haven't not heard back from them. So they're clearly scared. They're running from me. However, Kevin Guidry did respond to me, and while his comments here kind of straddle the fence, they're anti-Second Amendment, but they're pro-gun. There's a distinct difference between that, guys. What I mean by that is you can be pro-gun and have guns, but be anti-Second Amendment and not think that we all have the right to guns and not think that we have the right to AR-15s, uh, standard capacity magazines, which some people inadvertently call high capacity magazines, and you could support red flag gun laws. If you were to support red flag gun laws, you were clearly anti-Constitution. That's anti-gun and some of the other amendments, three or four of them, that the uh, red flag gun laws infringe upon. So. It's not only anti-Second Amendment if you support sec, uh, red flag gun laws, but you're anti-Constitution because there's a plethora of amendments that you're against. Unfortunately, um, he may want me to read this because he did respond. Uh, I know you might be thinking this is a pro-gun show, so anybody that gives me a, an anti-gun or an anti-Second Amendment stance is, uh, is probably doesn't want me to read that if his competitors have not told me their answers. but. If he truly believes in his own platform, then he believes in his answers and probably wants me to talk about them because he probably thinks that they're uh, actually going to help him in the race. So I'm going to read some of Kevin's answers. On question number four, the same questions that I posed to the sheriff's uh, candidates, question number four was, do you believe law-abiding citizens should be able to give, loan, or sell a gun to a friend or family member without filling out a federal form? Kevin responds, no, he does not think you should be able to give, sell, or loan a gun to a friend, friend, family member, or anything like that. He explains, I do believe in the right to bear arms for the protection of your family property and the sport of hunting, which our state is well known for, and I'm a, and I'm a gun owner, which the Second Amendment doesn't apply to hunting. I do feel that having this type of stipulation in place would not only give protection and peace to citizens, but it will also protect the gun owner. I personally would not hand over my gun to anyone who is not properly trained or found within the system not credible to operate a weapon of any kind. Well, I don't think what Kevin understands, because Kevin does state that he owns guns, so I'm going to assume he's going through the background check process, but I don't think he fully understands the background check process because it's against the law for me to give a gun to somebody uh, or sell a gun to somebody who can't pass a background check. You're not supposed to do that already. In other words, if I give a gun to a felon, a known felon, and I know about it, I have broken the law. So I'm not sure where Kevin's going with that. Um, so in other words, he doesn't want you to be able to give a gun to somebody or sell a gun or loan a gun to somebody, whether it's a family member or not. Uh, because no rational person would think that is a good idea because criminals, <laughs> a criminal is not going to perform a background check. He's going to steal his gun or he's going to buy it illegally like they all do now. <laughs> That's how they do it now. So this, a new law on outlawing me and you from being able to give or sell a gun to a friend or family member, all that's gonna do is put more infringement on us because the criminal is not going to suddenly say, hey man, sorry, I can't buy that stolen gun because we need to do a background check and I'm not sure I can pass one. Yeah, criminals, don't obey laws. By the sheer definition of them being criminals means they don't obey laws. What makes you think they're going to obey more? The fifth question is red flag gun laws. I asked, do you support red flag gun laws? Kevin says, yes, I do. I would rather the courts make the decision to remove the firearm than to read about a tragedy in the paper the next morning. 
This is one way to ensure the safety of everyone involved. It is absolutely not the way to ensure safety of everyone involved. What it actually is, is it's the way to directly and immediately infringe upon my Second Amendment rights without affording me due process, which is in the Constitution. I realize you're running for a state position and you may not understand federal law. You may not know federal law. I get that. But federal law is going to trump state law. So if you're going to try to enforce state law and legislate at the state level, you've got to understand what the Constitution means. I am more than willing, Kevin, to give you a copy of the Constitution and even sit down and talk with you and explain to you how the Constitution works and explain to you that red flag gun laws infringe upon at least three, actually four, different amendments in the Constitution. Four federal amendments are infringed upon whenever you enforce red flag gun laws. So I want you to know that, Kevin. Kevin, I'm not trying to pick on you because the other two were cowards, your two, two opponents. They were cowards and didn't send me anything. I respect you for sending your questions in. I think these are very risky answers that you're sending, sending in to me. I think in this type of climate in the South that you're probably not making a whole lot of friends. But with that being said, the other two were even were cowards. They, they won't send anything to me. My guess is their feelings are probably, they either align with yours or they're worse than yours. That's why they didn't want to send me any. So again, I applaud you for being a man and man enough to actually send these questions or these answers in to me. But at the same time, uh, hopefully we can have either a lunch or a breakfast or something and I can actually explain these things to you a little bit better so that you understand how infringing these things are that you believe in and how just the two things that you support we don't support, and very few people in the South do, very few people in the United States do.